What's up, Crusaders? Welcome back to another episode of Arcade Crusade. In this week's video, we're going to take a break from working on games, and we're going to do something fun for the arcade. Uh, we're going to be building a Run DMD pinball clock, and uh, if you aren't familiar with this project, the Run DMD is basically a little microcontroller, a uh, little motherboard that you hook up to a LED pinball DMD, uh, or you can hook it up to Hub 08 and I think Hub 75, um, LED panels, but basically you hook up this little controller and it's a clock and it can basically display pinball animations. Um, you know, you can set it to every minute, every few minutes, every like 30 seconds, it shows the time and then shows a pinball animation, um, from any of, you know, Dally Williams games and Stern games that all had DMDs. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll need to get the image file that has all of the DMD um, animations on it. But once you have that, you can order the Run DMD. It's an overseas project. I think I want to say Sweden. So if you order one, it's going to take a little bit to get here. Um, but all my stuff just came to build one. So I'll show you guys what I got and what you'll need to do this. So uh, I have everything laid out here. And we'll start first with the, uh, the main thing you're going to need is I'm using a Stern, um, this is one of the red LED DMDs from, I, this, I think this came out of a Metallica. I got this on eBay for I think 50 bucks, maybe even cheaper than that. Um, and it was basically pulled right away because they swapped to a color DMD, but that is the model number on the red one. Um, so I got this cheap, I haven't even tested it to know if it works. I've actually had it for a couple months because I knew I was gonna be doing this. Um, next thing I have, the Run DMD Edge controller, and uh, along with that, you're going to get an SD card. This is actually a micro SD in a SD card adapter. This goes in there, and then you'll get a 2032 lithium cell, um, and that's for the battery on the board that maintains the time when you have this thing off. Um, so Run DMD is going to come with both the battery and the SD card. We have our DMD. If you weren't using a DMD, you could get a Hub 08 or Hub 2 Hub 08 or 2 Hub 75 panels. Um, so older plasma displays, so all your orange DMDs, you know, Lord of the Rings, Bally Williams games, um, anything that used a high voltage DMD will not work with this natively. There's some modding you could do to make it work. Um, it's not really worth it. Just use an LED DMD if you're going to do this. Uh, or if you want to make a bigger one, because really, I mean, this isn't that big of a display, but where I want to put it, I don't want a big one. If you want to make a bigger one, get the get the Hub 08 panels. Um, so yeah, um, so now we'll go over the other thing that I ordered. This is a kit from GameRoomMods.com. And what it comes with is these are two smoked acrylic panels, pre-drilled um, ready to be mounted. So these have mounting holes in the back and then the front is just smoked, um, smoked clear plexi. So these are pre-drilled ready to go and it comes with all of the, and if you read this, it tells you, you know, six black front, front screws for the acrylic, six rear acrylic screws, eight for the DMD controller board. Um, it comes with all your spacers and screws and basically you're going to build like a sandwich with two pieces of acrylic, the DMD and the controller board. And it's going to give you a nice way to put this all together and be able to mount it on your wall. Um, so I got this off game room mods on pin side and it's going to come with the hardware kit, two pieces of acrylic, a front and a back, and they have the paper on them. You have to pull the paper off so they don't get scratched up. Um, it also comes with a power cable for a Stern DMD. Um, so this power cable will plug into the back of the Stern DMD and then it will get hooked up right here on these lugs, the plus and minus lugs on the, um, um, on the DMD controller. Then it comes with a ribbon cable to send the data back and forth for the actual image file to display the animations and the time. Um, and then it also came with an AC-DC adapter. This is a 5-volt, 3-amp uh, AC-DC adapter. So it's going to be 
um, 5 volts of DC, which is what it takes to power one of these LED DMDs. So one thing I'll say though, this is only a three foot cord. I need to order an extension because I planned to mount this high up on a wall. Uh, I'm either going to get a one meter or a two meter extension and I'm going to run a, I believe this connector is 5.5 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters. I'm going to get a probably a two meter extension so I can run this down cleanly to the run DMD board. This plugs in right here. Um, but yeah, this is everything you'll need. So all I ordered, I made three separate purchases. I made an eBay purchase for this Stern DMD. I made a run DMD purchase for the run DMD and it came with the SD and the battery. And then I made a purchase on Pinside from Game Room Mods for the acrylic, the hardware kit, um, both the power cable, the ribbon cable, and the power adapter. He sells all of that as one kit for, I want to say, like 30 bucks. Um, so I'm, I'm into this whole thing pretty cheap because I, I picked everything up slowly. And uh, I think the, the edge board was 130 bucks. And then obviously I had it shipped from Europe. So I think it was around like 150. This was around 50 and the kit was around like 30. So I'm, I'm in it for not too much. Um, a, lot, a lot of people spend a lot more than that on this. But this should be a really clean and nice way to do this. Now, when you get the SD card from run dmd it's um it's not going to have any of the image files on it or at least i've been told it doesn't have any of the image files on it to actually have any animations on the dmd so the first thing we need to do is we're going to take this sd card and we are going to hook it up to my computer and this basically needs to get flashed with an image file that contains all the animations and uh, i found the image file off a form on pin side uh, I'm not going to link it in the description because um, some of these animations are copyrighted. And I don't know how cool they are with people passing them around. Um, but if you look on Pinside, you should be able to find the image file for it. Uh, so basically, we are going to use a program called HDD Raw Copy. And we are going to flash the image file onto this. Once we do that, SD card can go in, battery can go in, we can start, uh, we can bench test this thing before we put everything together, make sure it works. Once we know that it works, uh, we are, we're good to go. So once we know that it works, we can build everything. The first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to get my screen recording software set up on my computer and then we will quickly use HDD raw copy to flash the image onto here. So let's head over to the computer and do that. All right, guys, so uh, we're over at the computer right now. I haven't plugged in the SD card yet. Um, I just have it queued up and ready to go. And the reason I haven't plugged it in is I want to show you what happens when you plug it in. Uh, it's going to tell you to format the disk. Do not do this. Um, the way that the image file is written on here, it's, um, it, it can't read the sectors in Windows. So just click Cancel or X this out. Um, you don't want to format it. It's going to say it's not accessible. Don't do that. All right. So what we're looking at here is, um, I have a folder on my computer with, uh, all the stuff you need for run DMD. And this is just various documentation. Um, just a couple zips. I unzipped the zips here. So we have the, um, the image file right here, which this has all the animations and everything. This is the firmware just in case I ever need it. Um, HDD raw copy. You can get a copy of this. Just Google HDD raw copy. You can get the portable version so you don't have to install it on your computer, which I got. Uh, and then just various documentation for setting things up. Uh, just that I've been reading so I know what I'm doing. Uh, but basically you're going to open HDD raw copy and it's going to ask you to run it as an administrator. Um, so basically you are going to select your source file. This is what you want to copy. Um, so you want to go ahead and select your file. I'm in my run DMD folder here and I want to grab, not in the Mac OS X, this has a dot in front of it. I want to grab the normal image file here, okay? So grab this, um, we'll continue here and then it's going to ask us to select our source. Um, so we could go to, it's on USB drive E is where we have our SD card. 
uh, no, don't format that. Here, there, picked it up in HD raw copy. So you, you don't actually have to do File Explorer when you do this. Windows is gonna ask you to format it. Um, don't do that, you can cancel here. It's actually picking it up here in Drive E. Um, this is our SD card. So this is our target. So we're copying from source to target. Um, so that's in E right here. And we are just gonna go ahead and click start. And yes. And we're just gonna let it do its thing. It shouldn't be that long. It's not too large of a, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see right there, the image is about half a gig. Um, there's a lot of animations on here from Stern. I know Ghostbusters has a ton of animations and I'm probably gonna, I might even turn off the Ghostbusters ones because I want to have an even amount. I don't wanna be seeing Ghostbusters animations all the time. Um, I'll probably keep Metallica on but it's mainly going to be Bally Williams animations because I, I tend to I, I tend to think their dots were um, especially on the the mid to late '90s games. I, th I thought their dots were a lot cooler. But I will say Stern has some cool dots. You know, Lord of the Rings, um, Simpsons Pinball Party has really really good dots. So just uh, let this do its thing. Um, I've heard of some people having issues. It could be an issue with your SD card. Um, it could be whatever you're plugging your SD card into. So if I have a USB um, SD card reader, but I have one that I bought like last year. So it's, it's a USB 3.0, it's a good one. Um, the one I had before this kind of sucked. So that, that may have caused issues in this process. Uh, when this finishes, you're gonna see, it'll let you click the start button again. You don't wanna do that. Uh, cause then it's just going to start the process over. So we're almost done here. All right. Almost at, it's at a hundred percent task complete. You'll see right here, task complete tells you the average speed. Um, so we can just go ahead and X out of HDD raw copy. I'll leave this open just in case I need to come back to some documentation and then we can just eject our USB drive. Um, so now we have it ejected from the computer. We can take this SD card, put it in the run DMD, and um, we can bench test everything to make sure it works and you know look through our animations and stuff. And then when we, once we do that, we can, um, we can just build the entire acrylic, it's basically like an acrylic shield, the case for it. Um, so we can build everything for that and then this thing will be done. So. Uh, let's head back over to the workbench and start start bench testing. All right, guys. So we uh, we're back at the workbench, and before we do anything, I want to bench test this and make sure that our SD card works, our battery works, um, you know, our DMD actually works. So we can just go ahead, place it this side up into here to put the battery in. You have to lock it under this tab. Hold on. So your positive side is going to be facing up, and you want to lock it under the copper tab and kind of shove it to the left and then push down, and now, now our battery's in. Um, some people have trouble with that, so just wanted to point that out. Um, right here, our ribbon cable, we are going to hook up to the pinball DMD side. And then we'll need to hook up our power connector. So the striped, the striped one will be negative and the red one will be positive. And these basically uh, just shove all the way in here and get tightened down. So you kind of got to press, um, kind of got to press them inside of there for them to actually want to go in. And then you just tighten these terminals right here. And since we're just testing, we don't have to go crazy tight. Just get them normally tight. Okay, so those are both hooked up. Uh, we'll take our AC adapter, and that just plugs in on the side here. That's now in. 
and all we now have to do is hook it up to the DMD. So I'll zoom out a little bit and all right, this side is going to, you got to pop these tabs out and this connector isn't going to fully go all the way in like an, a normal stern one would. And then this side you got the, um, the part that actually locks in, just make sure you have that the right way. So now everything is hooked up. Um, I'm just gonna flip this to the back so it's out of the way and we can kind of lean that down just like that. But you can actually see on this stern board, it has markings right here for ground and plus five volts. So like I said, our ground is the one with the black stripe. So make sure you have that on your negative. Um, so now that all of that is hooked up, we can plug this in and flick on our power strip and you'll see, okay, so our LED is flashing, but we're not seeing anything on the display. They say when this happens, what you want to do, go ahead, turn it off, wait about 10 seconds, and then you're going to come to switch three on this, this bank of, uh, switches here and you're going to want to hold down switch three as you turn this on and then it's going to go through these modes here so yeah it says pinball plasma it's going to cycle through these modes these would be for like hub 08s and stuff um so like i said I, I pushed down this 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 third button right here i held that and then turned it on it's cycling through the modes right now and you'll see when it comes back, it's going to say pinball LED. When it gets to the mode that you want, hit button four. It takes about 30 seconds to go through all these. There we go. Pinball LED. So we hit button four. And now it's going to boot up. And there we go. So now we boot it up. We're in the menu. And now it's actually showing animations. We just saw the stern pinball animation. And let me turn this light off. We'll be able to see them better. And this is a red. Uh, I don't know. That might be from X-Men. I don't know what game that was. Looks like the animations are every uh, 10 seconds, 5 seconds. We'll let another one go through. Yep. So it's working. Our, uh, our image file worked. So we have all of the animations on here. Um, power's working, you know, everything's hooked up right. So, and it didn't give us any errors when we boot it up. Just make sure if you, uh, if it boots up and you don't see anything and the LED's flashing, hold down button three and, uh, plug it in. And then it'll boot you into that mode where it cycles through all your display options and you're going to pick pinball LED, at least, you know, if you're doing it with a stern DMD. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and unhook everything, and then we can figure out how to get it mounted on the acrylic, and that's the last thing that we have to do. All right, so we have both acrylic pieces out and ready to go, and you'll notice both sides of these have paper on them. Um, so go ahead, and the if you get a kit from Game Room Mods, Dan will include instructions on how to put all this together. Um, but basically, he just suggests go ahead and remove this side first. Alright, so for the front panel, our DMD is going to connect to this side, and then the um, both panels get put together. So what you're going to do is peel the paper off both sides, and then you are going to shove the short screws through the front of the panel and then the really short spacers on the other side of the panel. And then our DMD is basically going to lay down flat on this.
And these can just get hand tightened, like it says in the instructions, because you can actually kind of torque these ones down. And we, ne we need to do this at all six spots so the DMD can mount correctly. So it's like I said, it's just uh, the short screws and the short spacers that go on here. Make sure these are tight at all six of them and then our DMD should lay down. And then all we're left with are the long spacers and long screws, um, which are how the whole thing kind of sandwiches together. And before you sandwich this together, you're going to have to hook up the cables from the uh, board to the DMD. And then you are going to have to hook up the... Um, you're going to want to make sure this thing has no fingerprints or hair on it once you put it together. Because you're going to have the DMD light shining through it and you'll see... You'll see a lot of that stuff shining through. You won't see it as much if you're in a dark room, but anytime there's light on it, you'll uh, you'll see the fingerprints and hair. All right, so we're on our last spacer. After we do this one, we'll make sure they're all tight. And then our long spacers will go on. And just make sure these are all hand tight. All right, those are all hand tight. Now we want to make sure this is clean before we even put this on. So I'm using a microfiber here and just making sure that both sides of this are clean before we even put it on. All right, so what we're gonna do, I see a little bit there. All right, so now our DMD is basically just gonna come and we're gonna flip it over on top of this. There we go. Took a little bit of pressure to get it on the spacers. And now we just have to get it in this last spacer. There we go. So just make sure you're on all the spacers at all six points and um, then I believe it says our long LED panel using existing holes and then the long black nylon hex so if we can get these started on whatever screws are kind of sticking through it'll help a lot kind of get them started at least don't have to go crazy tight with them and then basically our back is going to sandwich on this and then the back screws go in and uh and we're done all right guys i figured it out um i had the entire thing flipped so if you look at this image it's not exactly clear what you're looking at, but what it says is back acrylic layer, rear view. 
and I didn't really think about this rear view. This is, if you're looking through the back of the acrylic, you would see the front of the board. The board is supposed to be behind the acrylic. I was taking it as the board on top. So we had this flipped the other way with the board up. Um, so the instructions were right. You need to put the screws through the solder side with the standoffs and then it's going to mount like this and you need to route your cables under it to the other side. Um, and now once we do this, we'll just take our four screws and put this in through this side. Now it should be right. So um, we just had both sides flipped, which is an easy mistake to make. But you'll notice when you try to put Pete like both together and you have them flipped, the capacitor on the DMD will get in the way. And um, not only that, but the ribbon cable will be too tall to actually be able to close the thing. So, um, yeah, we just had both of them flipped. So you just got to put these four screws on. Make sure you run your power cable and your DMD cable underneath the way that I did. Um, and it'll run kind of just like this. So uh, I'm going to finish putting these four screws on and then we'll come back, hook it up, and we'll just put the rest of it together. So now we got the controller board remounted to the backboard. And if you want to make it easier, maybe do the front piece first. And because this is really straightforward, it doesn't matter which way you do it, you just got to pay attention to which, which side is the top side of the board, and then you know how it's all going to piece together. Um, and also, one thing is this hole here is for replacing the battery. So just make sure whatever, whichever way you mount it, your battery you can get to through that hole. So that also helps. So now we can take both sides of this and the DMD will get mounted like this. Okay, that is in all the way. And then the power cable will get put in like that. Basically, this is just going to go on top of this. And we just got to make sure these cables are out of the way. All right. And now we should be lined up to put in these last screws. So just kind of shove them through the bottom. And they're going to go into these long spacers here. All right, so just like this, the board's clipped together. Make sure your DMD ribbon cable and power cable are hooked up nicely. And uh, I'm just going to finish tightening these up, not super tight, with the screwdriver. And then we can plug this thing in and start messing with the settings. All right, so we got everything together. And now we can boot it up and see what it looks like. So we're going to have to go through and... Yep, there's that stern intro. So let's go into the settings, which should be switch one here. Uh, we have set time, which I don't have my phone with me to set it, but what you would do is you would go into OK, and I don't know, we'll say it's like 6.45, sorry, it's got to go to PM, there we go, OK, time format, you can do 12 hour, 12 hour with seconds, 12 hour with AM, PM. Let's look at what 12 hour with seconds looks like. No, that's kind of obnoxious. I don't like that. Let's just do uh, 12 hour with AM, PM. Yeah, that looks, that looks best to me. Um, clock shade. Let's see what that looks like. 
think it just controls how much shade there is in the edges. Let me just go halfway with that. That looks all right. Clock dots. Um, that just controls if you have dots between. I don't really like them blinking. I think I like. I might like them more solid like that. Okay, let's go to clock transition. Random is fine for that. Animations, frequency. Okay, you can do five seconds, three seconds, 10 seconds. I think I kind of like five because you can still see the time. Um, what else is in here? Browse by group, enable all, disable all. Clock overlay, leave that on auto. Show name. I think it might show the name of the game or the name of the animation with that. Okay, so we'll go through that later, figure out what we want. Um, custom message, you could probably make it say stuff. Okay, so you could put your own custom message in here, put text movement, position, so you can make it say, you know, welcome to your arcade or whatever you want to put in here. Yeah, you can go through and set it just like how you would on like a Stern game or a Williams DMD. You can set your custom message. Brightness, I like I, I like it on high. Really makes it a lot brighter on high. Uh, status LED, I want to keep that on, so that's enabled. Um, okay, what else? Boot mode, verbose or express. I'd rather have verbose. Startup image. I don't know what this does. Repeat one out of fifty. I don't. I don't know what that's for. I gotta look into that. Sleep time. You can set a time when it goes to sleep. So I might have this go to sleep at like two a.m. and then wake up at like you know two p.m. It's not on all the time. Menu style enhanced or basic. Uh, content filter, I don't know what that's for. DMD contrast. Um, I think I like normal more. I think enhance kind of washes it out. Key text, temperature, it's for the outside temperature. Scale sensor, sensor decimals. Okay, I'll mess with that later on. I'm not sure what that's for. It's got a DMD test in here, a button test, a reboot, DMD detect, and uh, that I think is everything. Do we look at the clock style? Let's look at that if we can. No, not clock shade. There we go, clock style. It's on pinball right now. If we go to, let's go to space. Let's see what space looks like. It changes the font a little bit. I kind of like the pinball font. I'm gonna go through, oops, I hit the fourth button, which will turn it off. It'll put it into sleep mode. So if you ever wanna not run this, hit switch four. So I'm just hitting the uh, little switches back here, but. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can, I'm gonna go through and turn off animations for things I don't want. Um, should be able to browse. Yeah, I think you're better off going by group because they're just labeled. Yeah, so you can go check this out. So I can turn off um, So you can go through and actually turn these on and off by group. So 24, disable, I don't care about 24. I'll take ACDC, I want attack from Mars. Don't care about Avatar. Don't really care about Avengers. Bally, I want. Batman, sure. Big Bang Bar, sure. So it does have Capcom ones. I don't want Big Buck Hunter. 
Uh, Black Rose is cool, Dracula's cool, Cactus Canyon's cool, Circus Voltaire, mm -hmm. Congo. So you can just go through and enable all of these game by game. So I'm just going to go through and do this, but um, yeah, and I'm just going to mess with these settings and then I'll get this hung up in the game room and um, yeah, we'll find a good spot for it. But this, this was just a base, basic setup guide for this, flashing the image and just building this kit. Um, but now we have a really nice frame for it we can hang this up in the arcade and it's going to look awesome so uh, that pretty much just wraps this episode up we were just taking a look at building a run dmd i'm not sure how long he's going to be making these for i know he only has a few in stock right now um, same with the acrylic frame kits so if you have an extra stern dmd it has to be an led dmd if you have one um, you should you should build one of these they're awesome so all right guys thanks for watching i'll uh, i'll see you in the next one